What's up everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the new album from the band Marduk entitled Front Schwine. This is released on Century Media Records. Now, Marduk are one of my all-time favorite bands when it comes to Swedish black metal. This has been a band that has been continuously consistent over the course of the last two plus decades in delivering some incredibly devastating black metal. Uh, from their 1992 debut, Dark Endless, to later 90s releases like Heaven Shall Burn When We Are Gathered, and my all-time favorite release of theirs, 1999's Panzer Division Marduk. I mean, just a relentless sort of style when it comes to their music. Heavy blast beats, very awesome vocals, great lyrical content, and very smart songwriting. Uh, but I believe into this band's 2000s output, most notably 2004's Plague Angel, is when they started to make a shift change of sorts. When they included their new vocalist, uh, Mortis, who was once involved in a very awesome band known as Funeral Mist. And ever since his inclusion into the band, I believe they have grown and I believe they have gotten better and better with time. Of course, you have albums like ROM 512, 2009's Wormwood, and their most previous release, 2012's Serpent Sermon. Really fantastic stuff, and I believed little by little this band was accompanying a sort of merger of sorts, pretty much merging the worlds of both Marduk and Funeral Mist into one complete package. And not to mention, this is an incredible live band too, so if you ever happen to see Marduk live, definitely check it out, it is worth the experience. But it's been a couple of years since Serpent Sermon, and another a lot of things have changed within Marduk's camp. I believe they've added a new drummer into the mix. <clears throat> and of course, this is a band that definitely likes to delve deep into militant war sort of themes when it comes to their lyrics. I mean, reverting back to Panzer Division Marduk and their Iron Donny Pete's, so to speak. I love when Marduk get into these sort of uh, lyrical ideas and concepts. And now here we are with their 13th full-length album entitled Front Schwein. It's 11 tracks, and it clocks in at around 52 minutes in length. And like I've said previously, I was hoping that this would be the one album that would merge the worlds of both Marduk and Funeral Mist together as one. And I believe Front Schwein has done that tremendously here. I definitely think that this is one of the best things that Marduk have done under Mortis' leadership. And I definitely think this is one of the most intelligently written records that Marduk has done in a very long time. Uh, pretty much as is the case with any sort of Marduk release, Morgan's guitar work definitely is very well versed and showcased here. I definitely enjoy what what uh, Morgan has done with the guitar work here. You can hear it right away on the opening title track and then with tracks like Africa and uh, Rope of Regret. I mean, it's just very awesome. It's a very classically trained sort of black metal guitar performance. I definitely love the riffs, the lead-ins, the the sort of in in intricacy that he puts forth into his guitar riffs. It's very awesome. Pretty much what you would normally expect from a Marduk release. Definitely a lot better and a lot more tight-knit than previous titles like uh, Serpent Sermon and Wormwood. Um, I definitely enjoy what Morgan does with the songwriting aspects of this album here, and uh, Devo's bass definitely sounds very good too. Pretty much a very solid and sturdy bass tone. Uh, equally as dominant as, not equally as dominant, but just as dominant as uh, as Morgan's guitar work is being placed here. I definitely love what's being presented here, soundscape-wise and production-wise. Um, when it comes to the drums, I believe there's a new drummer that's been added into the mix. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is a guy who also drums for bands such as Rage Nuclear, which is uh, Lord Worm's new band, for Lord Worm formerly of Cryptopsy, and uh, a very awesome brutal death metal band known as Soils of Fate. Uh, both bands are definitely worth checking out, but um, I believe this guy definitely encaptures the sort of militant and relentless sort of drumming style you would expect from a Marduk release. Lots of great fills, lots of awesome blast beats, definitely a lot of of, uh, of, of different different sort of sounds and styles, like uh, on the Blonde Beast, I definitely love the beat that you would hear on, on the drum beats that you would expect on that sort of track. And then on lengthier songs like um, uh, Doomsday Elite, 
and um, Between the Wolf, sorry about that, uh, Between the Wolf Packs. I definitely enjoy his drum performance on those particular songs, definitely love the diversity, switching it up between fast and slow paced drumming, uh, but I definitely appreciate what uh, Frederick has done here with his drum performance. And uh, moving on to the vocals, once again, Mortis is on fire here. I definitely appreciate his vocal style. I definitely think he is one of the most intimidating vocalists in all of black metal. His stage presence, his facial expressions, his, his, his growls, his screams, it's very evil sounding. And I love his evilness being presented here on Front Schwein. Especially, once again, on tr with tracks like Africa. I definitely love his vocal delivery on that song. And then on songs like Neville Werfer and uh, Filet's Cauldron of Blood. I definitely think this is a very awesome vocal performance done by Mortis. It's one of his best, I would say. I love the strain in his voice every time you hear him growl and then you hear him get more crazed and insane. I definitely appreciate what's being done here. Uh, definitely a powerful vocal performance and definitely more of an instinct to showcase some of the really awesome lyrical content being displayed here. Once again, like I said previously, I love when Marduk gets all militant and crazy and talking about World War II themed stuff. I definitely enjoy when Marduk gets into those sort of ideals and just delivering some straight out crazy lyrical content. So, overall, I definitely think this is another really incredible album within Marduk's discography as far as the Mortis era is concerned. I definitely would say this is one of their absolute best. Uh, if you're a fan of what Marduk has been putting out over the last decade plus or so, I definitely would recommend giving Front Schwein a listen. I definitely think this is one of the best black metal records of this year and one of the best albums of the year in general. So, if I had to pick any favorite tracks, I would definitely have to say the title track, The Blonde Beast, uh, Africa... Uh, Rope of Regret, uh, Nebelwerfer, uh, Filet's Cauldron of Blood, and uh, the closing track, Thousandfold Death. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you a link in the description, some links in the description box as to how you can get a hold of this album and listen to it. I will link you to the title track, which I believe is currently streaming on YouTube, and I will also link you to where you can purchase a physical copy of the CD. I believe it is available in a digipack format. I believe there are also European editions available of this media book version, and of course this uh, vinyl version. A uh, very nicely done vinyl version here. Great gatefold uh, of the band. Uh, great, uh, great back of the cover. Comes with this giant 16-page booklet, and it's on a standard heavyweight black vinyl. Very awesome to own and listen to. I definitely have been listening to this a lot lately, and I probably will listen to this as soon as I'm done filming this. So, I'm going to show you the album again. This is Front Schwein by Marduk. This is released on Century Media Records. Go check this out if you're a fan of Marduk or Swedish black metal. And I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Very impressive album and definitely one of the best black metal releases of 2015, I would say. So, support Marduk. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And until the next time, Armijo, out.